Hi, my name is Kent Walker. I'm the Vice President of Technical Services for Mercer North America. We're located in Newburyport, Massachusetts. Uh, I, I want to tell you a story about a, a surge problem that, uh, that I was involved with that uh, it's pretty, pretty real life. Uh, we were going home, my family and I were going home uh, one Sunday afternoon. It was very dark skies, very bad thunderstorm coming in. And as we were going up Main Street in my town, uh, my fire pager went off. Uh, I'm a lieutenant with the Kingston, New Hampshire Fire Department, firefighter EMT. Uh, so as we're going up Main Street, fire pager goes off and it's a very familiar address that ended up being my, my neighbor's home. So it came in as a, an emergency call, possible structure fire and smoke in the building. So I ended up having my wife drop me off at the station, I waited for the crew, took the engine to, to the scene, uh, and we got off to find that my neighbor's home uh, had been struck by lightning. Not the house, but his, uh, he had a big tree out front. So we didn't really understand at first how uh, there was a small fire in the, in the cellar in his irrigation control box. So we put that out. We're, we're going through the, the analysis of what happened. Well, what happened was the lightning hit the tree, came down into the ground, dissipated through the ground, found the control wiring for his valves on his sprinkler systems, on his irrigation uh, control valves, went into his home, blew the pump controls uh, all over the cell, started a small fire uh, in the studs, so it, it started up the walls. Obviously, we, we put that out, used our thermal imager uh, to check to make sure there was no extension in the walls. All safe, but as the, as the homeowner, my neighbor walked through his home, he realized the refrigerator, the microwave, his large screen TV, none of it worked. So he was affected, all his, all his electronics were affected by that uh, direct, indirect lightning strike that, uh, that he, he received. My home was right across the street, but as I walk across the street, my big yellow lab is walking down the middle of the road and she usually has an electric fence on, and she, she was outside the fence. So I was like, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't understand that. Took the collar off, brought her back over, put the collar back on. She comes in the house. Uh, my wife was going to do something with the microwave. It didn't work. The ceiling fan didn't work. But we didn't piece this together for a few days. Uh, and so at that end of the house where the, the dog fence comes in, we lost our electronics too. So we got hit with about a $2,000 bill uh, for the electronics that we lost. Uh, unfortunately, my, my neighbor, his, his was about $10,000. He, he needed an electrical contractor to come in to replace some things. He had some, some bad grounding problems. You know, we realized uh, that I thought about it. We sell surge protection. I don't know why I didn't have one on my home. Uh, <laughs> I did install a surge protection device on my panel. Uh, I used the XR series uh, SPD that, that we have. Since you're watching this video, it's probably because you're looking into or interested in SPDs and you're thinking about installing one. Don't chance it. I did. I lost. For a very small investment, you can save a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of headaches. I recommend them for everyone. Mercen. Expertise, our source of energy.